Hello everyone and welcome to day 17 of Craftmas and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a drawn pin bauble. This is definitely one of my favourite ones, although it does take a really long time and it is quite tedious, it's very similar to the bauble wreath at how kind of painstakingly awful it is to make, but I think the results are really worth it this time, I think it's a really really good project. And all you need is a polystyrene ball, which you can get from your local craft store online, dead easy to get hold of. You're going to need a bit of ribbon, and you're going to need some pins. And you can do them in any kind of colour scheme you want, so you've got obviously all the different coloured ones, you've got gold, you've got silver, and there's different shapes and stuff. There's actually quite a lot of different kinds of pins out there. Um, so have a look and see which ones you like and what works. But it will take a lot, a lot of pins, but I've got plenty in the studio because I've used them for old sculptures and stuff, so that's fine. But you, what you want to do is you want to start by getting your ribbon secured onto it. Right, so what you want to do is you just want to dollop a little bit of super glue onto the sender. You want to secure the ribbon you want to use and then you also want to get your pin and just push it quite off center and just keep it down and you want to secure this because this is obviously the part that's going to loop around and create the loop so you can hang it on your tree so it's important to start off like this and you just want to keep going around in a circle and keep going and going until you've covered the entire thing which will take a long time but it is worth it I think it's worth it anyway so you just want to keep doing it and going around and around obviously we're up to day 17 now of craftness but let me know in the comments if you are enjoying the series so far hopefully you are it's been um, a lot of work and a lot of planning but hopefully um, you're enjoying it if you are watching it um, and obviously it's the 17th day of December today so hopefully you're all finished with Christmas shopping and all that kind of stuff if you haven't I feel sorry for you I'd be very stressed if I was you I'm the kind of person who I like to get all my Christmas shopping done probably like it probably doesn't even get to November. I'm probably finished in October. I probably get it all in October, finish it in October. I even wrap all the presents in October. Maybe it's a little bit in November as well, but I don't do anything in December. I'm all done. All finished in December. So it gives us plenty of time to make baubles. <laughs> So you just keep going around and around with this and obviously tie that into a knot so that that's secured. So then you'll be able to hang that off your Christmas tree. But luckily I'm not going to do this entire thing on the video because the video will be hours and hours long. But I have already created a couple and I've created this one and this one. And obviously if you use the metal pins, so the gold ones here, it's got like a proper hefty weight to it. But I think it looks really, really nice. I think it looks super cool. And it doesn't look kind of crafty and cheap. They look, I think they look quite elegant and quite decent. And I'm really happy with them. They're, they're gonna go straight into the decoration box. Well, they're gonna go onto the tree, but then they're gonna go into the decoration box. And I'll get them out every Christmas. Um, I think they're really effective, but they just take a long, long, long time to make. But we'll pop these on the tree now. That's it for today's episode. It is a super easy one to do, but again, you just need a lot of patience. You need a lot of spare time, and 
yeah, you, you can kind of do it just sat in front of the telly and stuff. It doesn't take a lot of concentration. So it is a really easy one to do. And I do think the results are worth it. Obviously, if you get smaller polystyrene balls, they won't take as long. They are quite hefty. They're quite a decent, substantial size, which is why they've taken it so long to create. But I think they're worth it. It's not like my bauble wreath over there in the corner. That's just... That one drove me mad. It drove me crazy. The baubles didn't drive me crazy as much. They weren't too bad. But if you did enjoy this episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And do let me know in the comments if you are enjoying the series so far, what's been the best tutorial so far out of these 17 days that we're up to, which one of you enjoyed the most. And make sure to tune in tomorrow for another episode of Craftmas. So I'll see you then. Bye!